Welcome everyone, I'm your host Mr. Gazillion, and this is a new series of Artifact Adventure, a new RPG Maker game that recently got translated and was released on Playism.com. This game is a open world RPG, so think about Final Fantasy IV meets Dragon Quest meets Skyrim, if you will. Um, I re don't really know much about this game, I don't really know how, how it plays except that it plays kind of like a JRPG and that you create your own party and according to playism.com when i tweeted them about how many hours of gameplay there was in this in this thing uh, they said that there were over 100 endings and that each ending actually has their own um uh, play length so let's start by creating our party um we have there are multiple classes so this is the warrior which is apparently the cornerstone of all parties i'm guessing he wears all the heavy armor uh, this is the monk. He can punch multiple times and does more critical damage than everybody else. This is your hermit, which is an archer slash healing class. This is your adventure type that uses guns, I think. Uh, the way I saw this, uh, they're highly intelligent and use guns. So I, th this is your Indiana Jones sort of character. Um, we've got, I believe this to be a shaman, which is your uh, caster, uh, has the highest amount of MP. This is the dreamer. Uh, according to the description, the dreamer um, is a jack of all trade and master of none. So basically they can pretty much do anything that they recall from dreams. Uh, if you go on the Playism website, which describes the game, it says that the dreamer can do anything and can do nothing. So I think it was probably a mistranslation um, that they probably just kind of did a first pass through Google Translate, who knows. So let's add the first uh, warrior, which I'm going to name, um, let's just call him Gaz, I think. No, I don't want that to go to end. I want it to be Gaz. Um, I think that went okay. There's this weird thing where um, this thing doesn't like my, my uh, B button being used here. So maybe I'm just gonna, to avoid errors, I might type using my keyboard. Um, so let's add a monk for a second character. So yes, I like that. And um, how do you, how do I delete? There you go. Uh, my friend Kyle actually purchased this game for me because we were kind of talking about it because we always kind of geek over a game so I'm gonna name this character after him so Kyle welcome to the party um, I think that's only appropriate um, it might not feel in the medieval JRPG setting but you know what neither does Gaz so so we've got ourselves a second party member and uh, I think a hermit would be nice a little back range like a range warrior with some healing abilities um, so I think that's appropriate I didn't really think of a name, but I don't think I'm in love with the idea of a character called Texas. Um, first of all, I'm Canadian anyway, so uh, and there's not enough room to call him uh, Alberta or British Columbia. So let's come up with a different name for a hermit. And um, I don't know if these characters are um, are um, um, gender neutral. So let's call this one Kale. Which sounds a lot like Kyle, so um, that's that's a little weird, but that's not on purpose. Kale is another person in my life, and um, for the last character, I think the, uh, the I like the idea of having a shaman as well. Uh, has more MP and intelligence than any other class. Wields staves bearing special properties. So shall we have a shaman? Yes. And I don't really have uh, a really a name for him, so let's go with a childhood friend where Kyle is the purchaser of the game, Kale would be my girlfriend, um, and Butts would be my childhood BFF, if you will. So I think that works out pretty damn good. Very Dragon Quest-esque from what I'm seeing right now. Thank you for heeding my call, young warrior. Today you shall set out on a quest to save this kingdom. Your mission is to defeat the evil Swamp King. 
the Swamp King is spreading his disgusting poison throughout this land. To defeat him, you will need to find the many great artifacts scattered throughout the world. Only then will you be able to reach him. I have prepared gifts to aid you on your quests. You may choose one of the following. An airship? An ar artifacts? The Key of Time. The Swamp King lurks in the poisonous swamps to the north. I rely on you. Be brave. I suggest you speak to my subjects throughout my castles. N knowledge is power, after all. Okay, so... Here do we have our little tile screen. Um, in terms of skill, I don't seem to see... Um, there doesn't seem to be... Um, any skills that we've learned so far. Oh, we do have Magic Blast. Butts has Magic. Uh, we have no key items. I mean, we've got our basic, you know... Um, attack, defense, speed, but we don't really have any much more info. And they all seem to be equipped with the really basic stuff. And uh, I guess... I, I think I like the current way uh, of formation. Usually your low defense characters are at the back and your high defense are at the front. I think a monk would have high evasion. It has high speed, and so does our hermit, actually, but... Maybe the hermit should go before the monk? Um, their defense seems to be pretty similar, so actually, I like that idea. Let's do that. Let's switch out Kyle and Kale. Alright. If you head north of town, you'll come across a cave. The airship is waiting near the exit. The key of time as well as four different artifacts are being kept in the basement. However, the king will only allow you to unlock one door. Please choose wisely. Uh, okay, we've already spoke to him. Alright, so this is... You hear a voice from somewhere. I am the authority of kings. I can unlock any door sealed by the Lutenric royal fam or family. If my king has deemed you worthy, I am willing to go with you. Yes, I hope you, I can help you in your quests. Okay, so Ga, not Gaz, but Ga gained the power of a new artifact, the Authority of Kings. Okay, that is awesome. My name wasn't spelled correctly. So, <laughs> we have Ga, the main character. I like that. <laughs> We're gonna roll with it. Have you been shopping in town yet? You can buy weapons, shields, armor, and tools to help you on your quest. If you're injured, go and rest at the end. You'll soon feel right, out of ra right as rain been hit so hard you can't even fight, look for the cauldron and seek the witch doctor's aid. That over there is an artifact. If you find an artifact, they'll lend you their power and abilities. Their power will open new paths for you. Your great adventure has just begun. So from what I understand, we got three treasures. Yes, I do. We got three treasures we can pick from, but we can only pick one of them. I like the idea of having an airship because, you know, they're kind of key in any JRPG, so I'll pick that. It's not. It's no good just carrying weapons and armor around with you, you have to equip them. Yes, we know. You're less likely to be targeted in battle for your formation. Always use your formation to your advantage. When back in town, be sure to record your journey at the end. Then you can always pick where you left off, no matter how long you pass out for. Oh, okay, so you can save... Nope, you can't save anywhere. I lied. Alright, let's see what else we can see. This is very much like Final Fantasy. Uh, a dragon quest. We have four artifacts stored in this castle. They're just up ahead. If you know that not what perils lie ahead, place your trust in the power of the artifacts. I don't want those initial artifacts. I actually don't know what they do. I wonder what the... Oh, the, <laughs> the NPCs keep walking as you talk to them. I wonder what the artifact, uh, artifacts actually are. What makes them special? I bet there's somebody out there who knows. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take that chance though. I heard the Swamp King draws his power from somewhere, but I wonder where. We keep, keep the key of time downstairs. If you wish to meet the wisest men in all the world, you will need that key. Okay, so we don't know what the key of time is. We don't know what the artifacts are, but we do know what an airship is. So I feel like it might be the, um... I feel like that might be the, uh, the, the, like, default thing that most people do. You don't have to defeat every single enemy you come across. It's okay to run away sometimes. What did I just do? I didn't want to go in the cauldron. Ah, what's going on? By coming in here, you've opened the seal and let all the jar goblins escape. Those monsters hold a deep grudge against jars. You've just endangered your hall of jar kind. You gotta go around and bring them back. The safety of all jars depend on it. Well, I guess so. I'll give you a reward every time every time you bring some bad some back, even though you don't really deserve it. 
Okay, I guess that's one of the first side quests. So if we talk to Jars... When exploring dangerous places, take it slow. Maybe even split it up into multiple trips. Okay. Door is unlocked. The door is on... The door... Oops, sorry. The door is locked. Um... Yeah, so if you hold the action key, you can walk. So I don't really care much for walking right now. Uh, that brings us back down. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, run up a pesky guard. Yay! We found our first one. What's this? The voice for that. I am the king's return. I can return you to where you need to go. Gah, have you wished to turn back? No, returning home is just an imp as supporting as moving forward. Okay. If the Swamp King's poison spreads for- I'm sorry, but gah, it just makes me laugh. What a horrible name. A few years ago, two powerful wizards headed to the swamp to ap apprehend the Swamp King, but one on the way they fell under a powerful curse and had to abandon their quest, or so the story goes. After years of research, we discovered that there are three towers that channel part of the Swamp King. Okay, so maybe those are artifacts as well? Another sort of life, nice. Anything here? A Jar Goblin lurk behind the chest of drawers! Yay! We got another Jar Goblin! From time to time, one of the monsters in the battle might turn out to be some far stronger than its cohorts. Make sure you're ready for that to happen, otherwise you might end up like me. Ow, ow, ouch, ow, arg! Okay. So the music is very 8-bit-ish, which is kind of annoying. Let's see if we can get a reward already. Hey, it looks like you've caught a few. Just go ahead and check them over there. Yes! Are you ready to venture into the frightening outside world? Uh, no. I had a roommate before. No, that's okay. I don't really want to be a roommate. You kind of smell funny because you live in this freaking humid cave. And after five goblins is written on the floor. Okay, so we don't have... Yes, I want to go back to the real world now. Thank you. I say we start an adventure now. Let's go to town and see what kind of equipment we can yeah, muster up. And no, I don't feel like taking those other treasures because those open up the artifacts and the key of time. Ooh, that's nice. Are we in town now? Yes, we are. Ooh, ominous music. What is this? Our battle. I'm not even. I don't even know if battles are random in this game. God. Yeah, pesky jar, dude. Hmm, the one at the back looks not half bad. 410 gold sounds reasonable? Uh, no. Foolish choice. Friendship has no value in this world. What? Are, what are these guys? Do I have any money on me? Only 300. Am I buying people? Hmm. I'm not sure I like buying the idea of buying people. Uh, Alright, let's see. Weapons. Welcome. This is the weapon and armor store. Okay, what can we buy? A dirk? A sword, oh my god, it's only 10G, a tiny bow, a staff, a buckler, and a hide cap. Well, you know what? He's the front lines. Let's buy him a sword. Who will have it? Gah. <laughs> yes, equip it now. Give him a, oh, no, yes, give him a hide buck buckler. So, gah, equip it, yes. A hide cap, yes. Gah, didn't take it. Leather armor, yes. Kyle's like, dude, man, spare some sh stuff for me. Oops. Uh, how do I change? Oh, Kale can use the tiny bow. Yes, equip it now. Um, Kyle is a monk, so we won't equip him anything. But a staff would probably be handy to, uh, butts, right? Because intelligence will go up, which is a good thing. So yes, I will equip it. Um... How do I... I want to know how to... No. I want to switch... Oh, there you go, that's what I wanted. Um, okay, she can have... Kale can have... A hide cap... And leather armor. Kyle can have the same thing. Okay. Oh, he has a dirt currently. I don't want him to have a dirt. I want him to be barehanded. And butts uh, can equip 
a leather cap and nothing else. So let's give him... Actually, let's give him one, because he's the one who has the lowest. Yes, equip it now. And for the rest of the crew... Um... Well, let's give a... One to Kale. And that's it. Can we sell anything? Yeah, let's sell the commoner garb. Yes, and the Dirk. And the Dirk. And the Dirk. So we got 25 gold. Is that enough to buy another? No, it's 30. Well, thank you, sir. Come back again soon. Uh, little mysterious dude, eh? So I'm guessing this is a revive pot. Pay money, I, re I revive Fallen. Your party is fine. Come back if one falls. Um, what about if they die? I mean, I trip all the time. I sell essential adventuring equipment. Don't go on a quest without it. So, what do we have here? Medical herb, of course. Cleansing tonic, of course. Hmm, escape item and arrows. Are you kidding me? I bought all the equipment and I don't have the arrows to shoot, so... Yeah, that's not great. Uh, what about this guy? Welcome, this is a storeroom. I can put stuff away. Alright, that's good. Welcome to the uh, welcome to Luton Wreck. I've always wanted to welcome someone to town. How would I do? Uh, you you do fine. You did fine. All right, come on, you little pesky goblins. I know one of you somewhere here. Back in the day, we used to send new recruits to a place called the Dragonfields to the northwest of Luton Wreck. But the road that went to the Dragonfield was destroyed by those louts the Swamp King calls his soldiers. I bet if you make your way there, you could get in some last-minute training before your quest kicks off. Okay, no, I don't really need it. Do you want to update your journal? Yes! Alright, so we just saved, so that's good. What does this guy say? Hey, you injured in this 800 bargain. Uh, no. Please, please buy it! I haven't had a good meal in months! I'm tired of eating rocks. Okay. Maybe later, though. When I grow up, I'm going to be strong like wind. No, not like the wind, like the man. Wind. The great bandit. <laughs> There's a place called Wind's Graveyard near the town of Foran. If you ever visit it, look for Wind's treasure. If you find it, you have to come tell me, okay? I really, really want to see that treasure. It's like my lifelong dream. My friends all tell me I'm obsessed. Not a day passed that my son isn't carrying on about the legend of Wind the Bandit. Nobody knows if the legends are really true or not. Regardless, my son is totally obsessed with them. Every time an adventure stops by, he, he pesters them on, uh, into going to Wind's graveyard. Look, if you do go and find something about Wind, please don't tell my son. It'll make him worse. I really don't want my kid turning into a bandit. It'd be better if he just got over this phase. Dude, I don't know if this side quest has a branching decisions, but I feel like I would probably have to tell your son about it. Oh, and I can probably find something here. Nope. Come on, Jar Goblins! Hey, did you hear? Uh, hear what? All this talk of the princess dying is, is nothing more than rumors and lies. I heard she was kidnapped by kidnappers! Or princess nappers. Alright. Healing water is delicious. It's Greenvale's specialty. Greenvale is just to the north. Ah, her airship's to the north. Ooh, another elixir of life. Let's check if they actually increase anything. Oh, so it looks like every character has um, has their own equipment, kind of like in the... Boost HP by 10. Okay, I don't want to use those right away. I don't know who needs it. Um, a Jar Garblin! Yes! How many do I have in my party right now? Uh, maybe they're key items? Yeah, I have two, so I can unlock that thing now. There's a Luton Wreck Fortress by the Northwestern Bridge. They're, the th they're there to stop the Swamp King from expanding his domain! Alright, so, okay, we've explored um, all of the town. Uh, we could probably get some more equipment. That would probably come in handy. And uh, we could always get that artifact. I think that's what those shiny, curvy, orb-like things are. But, um, I don't have 800 gold to buy it. But I do want to go buy this guy's, uh, uh, get the artifact here, because we got five goblins now, so... Oh, no, we only have four! Dang it, I thought I had more than four. Yes, yes. Sorry, that was a waste of time. Alright, let's go in the outside world and see what uh, what awaits us. I want to go get our airship. Now that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't really know how this game will uh, proceed. I mean, I guess we have to go kill the, the Swamp King, but I mean, how much of a threat is the Swamp King? Is it imminent? 
Uh, do I get rewarded if I go kill him as soon as possible? So this is the overworld map. Oh, it looks like there's a little village down here. It's a port town. Uh, come on, jar. Elixir of magic. Damn it, I never, I never, never expected to, to, it to end this way. I never should have attempted this the first place. What? I truly believe I'd be victorious one day, huh? I ha have you two given up on your journey? I'm just so tired. What's the point? We've all lived decent lives. What? Shall I call a boat to take you back? Take me back where? No. Nobody can blame a warrior traveler for heading home. Heading home? What's going on? Uh, that was odd. So, this town does something. But I don't know what that something is. So there's supposed to be a cave to the north of here that has our airship. Is this the one? Alright. Might and Redbirds. So, I don't really know what we can do. So, let's just attack the Might. Let's see if she can actually hit anything, because she has her bow. Um, Kyle has no skills. Sorry, Kyle. Uh, we'll attack with the Dirk, and Putz has Magic Blast. But he doesn't have that much magic, so I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, so let's just do attack to see. So, Gah. <laughs> yeah, and so poor old Kale doesn't have um, anything. So let's just attack then. Kale should probably defend. There you go. So, temper. Okay, 15 XP and 24G. So that's actually pretty decent. 24G. And I think that's actually enough to buy 15 arrows, but for the time being. I actually want um, Kyle to have nothing equipped, because you're a monk, Kyle, so sorry. And we're going to give, um, what are we doing here? What's going on? Equip? Oh, sorry. I unequipped your, <laughs> I, uh, I kind of stripped Kyle there, sorry. Um, instead, let's give Kale. Um, oh wait, sorry. Uh, this, is, this is the only thing I don't like about having equipment. I want to give the Dirk to Kale, and I want Kale to equip it. Because since she can't... Since she can't shoot from her bow, we're gonna have to make do without. So, is this a dungeon? Ah, oh, nice. Now we have five. Woohoo! Oh no, a battle. Firebombs, E, I don't like that. And, uh, attack, firebombs, C has a star. I'm gonna assume he's the strongest one, so let's take him, get, get care of him first. Oop. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Ouch, ouch. Oh, it actually hurt quite a bit. Took care of that. Ooh! Alright, uh, it'd be kinda nice if our hermit friend would heal us. Ah, oh, come on, Kale, you're supposed to be able to heal us. Uh, and I didn't buy anything. I don't have any kind of healing abilities. And we got some money, so let's head back to town, because I don't like this at all. Ah, uh, no! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so you attack a mite, you attack the other mite, you attack that mite, and you attack this mite. Hopefully we can kill them all in one shot. Yeah! Critical hit for butts! 6 XP and 24 gold. Oh yeah, a little bit of a level up, and please, please tell me it is one of the games where you gain all your ex uh, health back when you level up. No, it isn't. And I suppose Kale didn't learn any abilities? Nope. Alright, so... We did get some decent money, and we'll come back here, actually. But for the time being, I think we should buy some more goods. Yes, yes, let's buy some medical herbs. Um, everybody should buy at least one. Uh, let's, you know, give Kale a few more items, including some arrows. So 15 arrows will do the trick. And, uh, yeah. And... I'm going to, um, that's cheaper, I think, than actually, ooh, there you go. Please come again. 
Yes, let's save, because we almost got our butt kicked earlier. And I think we can equip... Kill with her tiny bow again. There you go, and she has enough arrows, I believe, to shoot, but... What? Does anybody else have the arrows? No? No? No, so I think it's like a... we have a common... Common, uh... Like a... it's like a pool, uh, that everybody can kind of use. Alright, let's explore the right this time. Luxor of Magic! Ah, oh, dang it, I really wanted to see that artifact. Oh, that's gonna be an easy battle. Alright. Oh, why does it say that she has no arrows? I bought 15. That was unfortunate. Alright, did I, did I accidentally say no to equipping arrows? Well, I guess we're gonna have to put on the dirt then. Where are the arrows? Oh, well. You hear a voice from somewhere. I am the spirit ember. I love burning stuff. Ga, can I come with you? Yes, of course. Yay! Gay gained the power of new artifact, the spirit ember. Ah, oh, dang it, that's true. Whoever deals a little fire damage to one enemy. Well, we just screwed that up. Use the authority of kings to open this door. Yes, you open the door using the authority of kings. So, uh, okay, we'll uh, definitely attack the fire bombs because, well, they, they're the ones that hurt quite a bit. Uh, ow. Ooh, ow. I don't want to do auto attack. While I do like auto attack, I hate when they, uh, it uses magic, so... But we seem to have a lot more XP than we had previously, so that's kind of neat. You hear a voice from somewhere. I'm known as the Airship Summoner. I bet you can guess what my power is. Gah, how much do you like Airship? If your answer's a whole bunch, and take me with you. I freaking love Airship. Let me know. So then, Gah gained the power of a new artifact, the Airship Summoner. So what? It's a skill? Uh, I don't like that. Oh, wait, can you die permanently in this game? I sure hope not. Alright, oh, here it is. Oh, it just means that... Nice! Guys, have you ever seen an airship this early in the game? I bet you haven't. And you can land on grass. Alright, guys, well, you know what? I think this is a good place to end the episode. I think I'm gonna reload the game, give the ember to my actual shaman, and then come and get this uh, airship. So, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.